How are you? It's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a fairly straightforward little bend back pattern. Um, a couple of people asked for these in comments and things, so <coughs> excuse me. So I thought I'd knock a couple up since I'm doing them for myself. I'm tying a black and purple version today, and. Crush the barb. Right. Obviously, the, um, adjust the size for the the area you're fishing and your target species. Uh, I'm tying this in a one or TMCO 411S. Um, I'm only probably going to be throwing this at Japanese sea bass, so there's you know you're not going to be putting the hook under any great pressure. Um, but the bend back's good because we're often fishing in amongst structure, docks and all that, and it gives you a wee chance of getting your fly out if you need to make a suicide cast between some cables. So, I'm just running on some flat lead. This is optional, you don't really need to weight it. Um, and if I, if I don't weight them, I don't dress any sort of body on the shank at all, I just leave it bare. The leads, the lead just helps it get down a wee bit for what I'm after. So I'm going to run on a base of thread. That's dead squeaky. So I get that, get that relatively smoothly covered. Jump on wee waist. And I'm going to take some flash. Uh, I'm using Sabai New Sparkle here and uh, <coughs> Blue Black. I think it looks quite nice on this um, this pattern. Gives you a nice sort of mix of colours and uh, you've got, there's a couple of bits of silver flashy black and just a couple of wee strands of blue in there works quite well <coughs> and I'm just going to Catch that in, then pull it back and just chase it with my thread, and that gives you a nice smooth uh, body, underbody. You know you don't need to, you don't have any sticky butt ends to trim or anything. Then I'll just, just smooth out any sort of bumps in the. And the lead, <coughs> and then what we'll do is we'll spiral it around my thread a couple of times just to help stop it uh, spreading out too much as I wind, and then wind it forward to cover up this. That lead there. And just cross the thread, tie it off. Now watch I don't cut the thread there. And then trim that. Now at this stage I'm just going to come in and whip finish. So, you don't need to worry too much about it, it's not super nice or super even, but I'm going to give it a, 
a nice coating of Loon UV resin. This is the thick um, Loon to me is the best resin. Um, I've tried tried the Deer Creeks and what have you, Bug Bond, and this is to my mind still the best. Um, I know some people worry about tackiness and stuff, but I'm going to just tell you how to avoid that. Because this is less brittle. Uh, I've I noticed that like the bug bond and all that, I find it's it's good for small trout style flies, buzzers and stuff. But the loon seems to be less brittle than the other than the, the tack free the tack free resins. So I'm just I'm just rotating that to get a nice smooth coat and then I'm going to hit it with a light to stop it moving. And then I'm going to take this out of the vise and I'm going to put it in a, a nail salon's lamp. Right? UV salon lamp. You can pick them up for 10 euros on Amazon. Right? Really cheap. Leave it in there for 10 or 15 minutes. And here's, here's one I did earlier. Completely tack free, still nice and shiny. Um, you know, you, you don't need to be varnishing it or anything. It was actually uh, John Mackham at John Mackham's Flies that put me onto that, and it's a great, great, a great way to finish off your your flies. There's no yellowing, nothing. Dries perfectly clear. So, I'll start my thread back on. Right. and then it'll tie in. My first batch of bucktail. You want nice, fairly straight fibres for this. You don't want like the heavy, crinkly stuff that you might use for um, like if you were you were out trying to get a, a deeper profile. Just fairly fine, straight fibres. Don't need it to be super, super dense. <coughs> so I'll just trim the ends square to the length that I want to tie it in, offer it up, pinch and loop. And I'll take my thread to the front and come back through the butt ends. That seems to me to be stronger. Uh, <coughs> and then there's nothing wrong with getting a wee bit of super glue sticking it over, over there as well and letting that soak in um, I know some folk will say if you tie it properly it should uh, you don't need it and they're right you don't need it but your fly will last longer if you do it anyway I'm just going to get some more of the same flash and uh, sort of pull the ends so they're slightly uneven offer it in on top fold it back then I'll come in with my second bunch of bucktail. Similar length. So you can go to the front. Keep 
I mean, you could you could finish the fly like that. It would still catch fish. But uh, I'm going to just to give it a bit more movement. I'm going to take two reasonably fine saddle feathers in black. Match them up. Right, you want the 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 curves facing in. Measure that there. Strip away all the crap so I don't get a massive tie-in point. And just offer them up on either side of the buck on top of and sort of to the side of the bucktail. Pinch and loop it in. See how they see how they want to sit. That looks quite nice. I'll uh, take my thread down, fold the stems back, just break them away. That way, you know the the, the hackle stem itself won't need to break. It can't um, it can't pull out. And <clears throat> that's basically the tie-in done. Um, I'm just going to run a bit of super glue on my thread, cut the wraps, pull that tight. There we go. And I'm going to add some eyes again. This is optional. I mean, these these black flies are quite good at night, so I probably wouldn't bother. But if I was only going to fish it at night, but they're also quite nice. And um, the water's a bit dirtier. The black and purple stands out quite well. Gives a nice visible target, solid silhouette. So just glue that eye on. Just a wee. 5mm red 3D eye. Can never hurt, can it? We errant fibre there, that's much more than that then. And then the last thing to do with this fly is just um, fill the head And between the eyes, cover up all your thread wraps, and then you, you end up with a nice wee bulletproof fly. Excellent for fishing in weeds and structure. Very snag resistant, very fill resistant. Or a nice robust wee pattern. So I hope you liked that. Hope it was useful. Remember you can tie these in different colours and sizes. I'd say from about a 2 to a 3 or It's sort of feasible. Uh, depending on the species you're targeting. All the standard colours. Black and purple, white and green. Olive and white. Anything that you like really. So. Um, thanks very much for watching guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up below if you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe to my channel for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.